whether you're using stable diffusion for game asset creation or 3d animation or any other purpose one of the important things that you would want is you would want to create characters in consistency also with different angles and different poses so you want consistent character you know looking front looking back looking sideways and a lot of characters um, a lot of these people cannot use stable diffusion necessarily because it doesn't have character consistency but what if you could use this amazing embedding called cat turner and then create the same character in different angles or different poses and that is exactly what we're going to see in this tutorial where i'm going to show you how you can use this textual inversion embedding called cat turner kudos to the developer quite amazing and create your own characters like this like look at this you've got front and back you've got you know sideways policeman we are going to create this using stable diffusion runway ml 1.5 so this is an amazing embedding this is an embedding that is built on top of stable diffusion 1.5 which means you can use it with any fine-tuned model of stable diffusion 1.5 so first step that for you to use this is you can you can use it with your automatic 11 11 or invoke ai but i've got an easy solution which i've covered in the previous tutorial where i've got a separate ui that is from Kemendru. So this is basically your automatic 1111, but it makes it easier for you to download the Civit AI models. So I'm going to go here in the repository, I'll link it in the YouTube description. I'm going to go here and click open and collab for the stable diffusion 1.5 web UI collab. So I'm going to open this, but if you want to use any fine tuned model as well, that is stable diffusion 1.5, you can still use that, but I'm going to use this. Once I reach here, I'm going to get, I'm going to be on this Google Collab notebook. First click runtime, select change runtime and make sure that you've got the GPU runtime accelerator. So if you have got GPU enabled, then all you have to do is click runtime, click run all. So once you click run all, it is going to take a couple of minutes because it's going to start the automatic 11 UI. It's going to download the model that you have selected and all these things will take time. After a couple of minutes, then you are going to get a Gradio link. Once you click the Gradio link, you will reach this automatic 1111 UI and you would be greeted with this place. I'm going to explain every single step how you can create an animation like this. The first thing is we have got the positive prompt here. We have got the negative prompt here. While we are going to write the positive prompt, we need a character, uh, sorry, we need an embedding invoke token. So that invoke token for this particular embedding is called care turner. But this care turner will not work unless until you've got the embedding in place. So either you download the embedding and put it inside your embedding folder, or if you're doing the exact same way, what I am doing, go to the tab called Civit AI, and then here enter the term called care turner. So once you have the term called care turner, click search by term here, select this, and then get the list, click get the list. Once you click get the list, you would have this list, click the model and then you can select the model and you can see that the model version is selected and then the invoke command is displayed to you. And then it also says what is the model. So then click download the model. And once you click that, it is going to download the model. And once it downloads the model, yeah, one important thing before that you have to select textual inversion here, select textual inversion, cat turner, select the drop down, download the model. Once you have downloaded the model, go to your text to image. From your text to image, you have got the positive prompt, you have got the negative prompt. I'll get back to the positive prompt in detail in a short while. Then you can select the number of steps. I found anything above 20, 30 ish, very good. And then the sampling method, I found really good results with the DPM plus plus SD Keras, DPM plus plus 2M Keras and DDIM. But you can use anything that you want. It's also sometimes, you know, trial and error. I've seen it on uh, forums reddits that you get better result by using dpm plus plus than using a euler sampling method so that is something for you to keep in mind the next is image dimension so with respect to image dimension if you have got a very square dimension which is in this case a 512 by 512 dimension it's highly likely that you would guess only two poses like front and back or front and side so for you to generate more poses or more angles, it's very important for you to have a landscape image or a wide angle image. So you can have a 512 by 768. You, you can have a wide, wide image, like a landscape image that will help you generate a lot of poses like this one that I've generated here. The next thing is, it is also noted by the developer that when you use high res fix, it helps creating better images. So you, I've tried with both high res fix enabled and disabled. I've got, you know, mixed responses, but you can always keep this on. 
if you are going to keep high risk fix on so it's going to do probably a double pass in this case i think so that's going to take almost double the time of um, how much your image generation typically would take depending upon the gpu that you have got the next thing is you need to select a guidance scale uh, cfg scale so i have found anything above 7.5 to 10 around 10.5 7 to 7.5 to 10.5 really working fine for me the next thing is it is purely random but i don't know for some strange reason i found very large seed values doing really good but again if you want to reproduce what the images that the developer has given you can go to this this link which i'll link it in the youtube description click the i and then you can see what is the seed value number of steps cfg scale the sampler positive and negative prompts and you can copy and then come and paste it here and then use it but it does not guarantee you the same result because this developer would have used a different base model and we are using the runway ml 1.5 so it may not be the same one but you can try it out the next thing is the most important thing is is the positive prompt this is a template for a positive prompt what it says a photographic or 3d or something whatever you give and you give character turn around off and then you describe the character so this is a very simple template you have the invoke command carrot owner then you say either photographic or 3d or drawn or whatever you want to give there and say character turn around off and then description of the character i'm going to show you how to do it so again you can use it with fine-tuned embedding models like i said so you can also use another embedding like your character embedding if you have got your own character so i'm going to say photographic and i'm going to keep 3d also i'm going to say photographic 3d character turn around off uh lady police woman and i'm going to click generate and i've got high res fix on now so which means it's going to take about like 40 seconds for me to generate the image but i can also i'm going to show you also disabling this and then see how you can use it another important thing that you can do is to play around with prompts you can glow go here you can also see some community images and also you can see different images that are generated here so you can use this prompt as a base prompt and then play around with that as well negative prompts are quite important and like i said you may not get exact ex exactly the same response but pick any stable division 1.5 base model that should ideally work well for you so i've i said i want a lady policeman and you can see except this you can see the heels is quite good uh, the cap is quite good the hand pose is not very proper in this thing but all the other images it works quite good so i can again go back and then say a photographic 3d character in this case i'm going to disable my high res fix photographic 3d character um, or instead of 3d character i can say cartoon drawn cartoon character a turnaround of uh, let's say a bird and I can click generate. Um, I don't know how the board is going to look like, but again, um, the whole idea is like, if you want to generate game assets, if you want to generate 3D assets, or you can use this one and then use it somewhere else. Uh, it's quite important to have the different poses, like characters with different poses. And that's exactly what we are trying to generate here. <laughs> the bird doesn't look necessarily good, but you can see um, how you have got multiple birds. So instead of that, I'm going to say, um, warrior and i'm going to say generate the image um one more thing that you can always play with is you can always try to change the seed value and then see how it works and also changing the sampler might give you completely totally different result which we'll just see shortly after this image is generated now this image is going to be generated with dpm plus plus sd keras and this is what we have got we have got like a lot of images and i'm going to change the uh, sampler here instead of dpm plus plus i'm going to say sd keras and i'm going to click generate i've still got 768 by 512 uh, with the 768 and 512 is the height to keep the landscape mode on so that you know it can generate more characters you can see how it works um not very perfect maybe i can uh, instead of saying photographic 3d i can still stick to photographic 3d character around of um viking warrior full body let's say and see what happens uh, i've still settled with ddim as my sampler and my dimensions are 768 by 512 i've got this guidance of 10 and uh, number of steps 30 and uh, 
this is the response we have got um, again the face is not quite good but you can see how the same character has got you you have got the same character with the different poses so this is quite quite good in the way it generates again you need certain um, number of iterations for you to play with and then see how it works but simply changing the sampler simply changing a uh, prompt and simply changing the dimensions can have huge impact in the kind of image that you are going to get uh, i think i made a typo with warrior yeah it's my bad uh, with that i think it it kind of understood what i meant um but that's that's again the whole point like you can see this is quite good like you can see the same character the shoes are quite consistent the armor is consistent the dress is consistent the hand sleeve is consistent everything looks really good the beard is consistent so this is this is an this is a wonderful model and uh, kudos to the developer who who created this and uploaded it here mouse rights thank you so much i'll link this in the youtube description and also the github repository of kamendrus um stable diffusion web ui collab i'll link it there in the github repository but if you don't want to use this collab all you have to do goes go to the cbti download the embedding which is just 12 kb put it inside the embedding folder of your um, um your automatic 1111 or invoke a, invoke ai ui and then you can start generating it with the invoke command and with this template and also you can play with the positive prompt not necessarily the same thing it's quite wonderful um, i'm excited about this thing i would love to know what you think about this cat owner so see you in the next video and all the links will be in the youtube description stay tuned